Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm down in my workshop, and we're going to do a little bit of testing on this D-Rook DC to DC converter. Um, if you go back to my previous video on this device, you can see what its capabilities are as far as input voltage and output voltage. And um, what I want to do is I want to take one of my radio supplies or lab supplies this particular one puts out 13.8 volts it's not variable and I need 9 volts for my Grundig satellite 800 radio 9 volts DC so this is DC to DC and what I've done just quickly for a test setup I found some fifth excuse me 5 ohm power resistors they'll take quite a bit of amperage um, and I put four in parallel that gets me 20 ohms 9 volts about 400 to 500 milliamps which is what the um, radio will draw so we're gonna see how this thing behaves under that kind of load so it's got a you can make a lot of adjustments to this. Uh, you can set the input voltage and the output voltage. You can look at the input voltage and the output voltage. Let me zoom in here. Do, 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 do. Okay, here it is. Uh, this is pretty small. And if this works out, I'll have to encap encapsulate this in a box and Another thing I discovered when putting this together, this little big experiment together, is that I'm using uh, about a number 28 gauge stranded wire. And I noticed it, I didn't want to over tighten it, but I tightened it what I thought was tight enough, these little terminals. And the wires, when I pulled on them, they came out. That's because when I you know screwed those screws down it spread those stranded wires so what I would did is I went back and I put some solder on those two tips of wire and that way it doesn't spread apart plus the solder is soft enough that it'll conform to these screws so it's holding in pretty good right now um, the other little minor thing I noticed and it's not really that noticeable but the display is a little crooked compared to the board can't hardly tell it but it's it's there it's a little crooked not a big deal not a big deal also I've got my temperature gun to see uh, what kind of temperature some of these parts reads when it's under this load so we can turn on my power supply right now and that will power up the device. I don't have a load on it right now. And then I can push the, this is the on off button to energize so that the, whatever voltage you've set is now going out. Right now it's not going out. Well, let's make sure. Supposedly that's the case. So let me get my meter here and we'll go on volts. And you probably can't read my meter, but you'll just have to trust me. And this is the positive end, if I have wired this up correctly, and this is a negative. And there's nothing coming out. 0, 0 0.0 millivolts. So it's off. So we'll set that aside temporarily. Turn it off. Okay. So and that's what it's saying. 0 volts and 0 amps. And you can set either the current... You can control the current, excuse me, because <laughs> sneeze. Whoa. The pollen is flying around, and I'm allergic to it. Anyway, you can set the current or the voltage, and um, or both. So right now, I want to set the output voltage to 9 volts, and the current, I can limit it if I want to, or I can let it go. Okay, so we push the set button right here, push that down, and the current 
numbers are flashing. Right now it's showing 2.00. So I can lower that if I want to add a little protection for the um, device I'm hooking this up to. But I'm gonna, for this test, I'm going to leave it at 2 amps. And we push it again, the set button, and now I can change the voltage, which I've changed. And I use these two buttons over here to change the voltage when you're in this mode. Or you use these two buttons to display either the input and output. So I've got it set to 9 volts already, 9.00. That's the resolution, 0 .00. So now I'm going to push the off. Once I've done the setting, I push the off button again. And it is now stored those settings. Because I put those settings in there before, and it saves them. So you don't have to set it every time you turn it on. Which, that's a little convenient, right? Okay, so it's off right now. And uh, we're going to turn it on. It's on. And now it's it takes a few seconds for the display to, I call call it clamp on to what that voltage is and I don't know there's no way of telling whether it's just showing you except knowing what it should be whether it's displaying the input or output so I'll push input just to make sure there's the input is 13.7 volts it's only one decimal point so it's thir one three point something 13.8 in this case, which is means my power supply is working good. So now I can push out, and it's showing that it's applying 9.02 volts with no load. The current is zero. Looks like 888 probably in the camera, but it's zero. And now I will hook up the load, and we'll see how how good these power resistors are as far as the resistance. So now it's hooked up and it's showing 0.44 amps. And like I say this is uh, 20 ohms. So the um, radio is probably a, a little, res little less resistance because it draws about, about that much, about that much for 440 milliamps. So it's working, um, and according to the display, the output is, output is changing a little bit due to the load. Let me see if we get any temperature or changes here. Okay, this this part right here is 87 degrees. The little tiny part is 86 degrees. My power resistors, for instance, I'll take this one right here, is 85 degrees. So not a very heavy load. So everything's going pretty good. Um, I'll check another part. Let me check one of these little cans here. 87 degrees. Everything's warming up a little bit. 88 degrees, yeah. So, um, Seems to be holding in there again. It's almost a half an amp, which is what I want to simulate to simulate my radio's load. So it seems to be working fine. Again, you can adjust the input, I mean, the um, output voltage or output current because it's a constant voltage in a constant current device. So, and the readings seem to be pretty accurate. If I go to input again, there's my 13.7, and my uh, power supply is rated at 13.8. Let me just uh, see if I can measure my power supply. I'll be out of the view of the camera, but I'm going to measure it. And I've got a little drop across the leads that aren't too long. And my meter says 13.7. So this is pretty accurate. Um, and it says it's um, it's drawing, again, it would be about the same, 14, excuse me, 
0.44 amps, almost a half an amp. Look at the output. It's just below 9 volts, 9 volts. It's pretty close. If I measure it with my meter, see what we measure again. I'm measuring 8.95 with my meter. Pretty close. So that's basically it. And the only thing else I've got to do now, what I don't have is uh, I don't have my oscilloscope. When I went to use it today, it's got a problem. It's like me. It's getting old. All my equipment is getting old and breaking down. It's kind of like me. Let me um, let me switch my meter to AC and see if we measure any AC ripple with a meter. Now, I could put the meter in view, but I don't think it would show up anyway. Yeah, there it is. See if I can tilt it up so you can see it. There we go. So it's measuring volts AC right now. And, oops. <laughs> It's 0, 0.00 volts AC. So it doesn't appear as much ripple. And of course, there shouldn't be because I've got a regulated power supply I'm using for input. Now, speaking of which, what I plan on doing is I plan on testing a laptop power supply, which I believe they put out DC most cases, not all of them, but most cases they put out DC and they you generally put out like 15 to 18 volts. This thing will take up to 32 volts input and down convert it. In this case, it'll be about 15 to 19 volts and I'm going to down convert it to 9 volts. That's my plan. But the question is, how much ripple do those laptop supplies, bricks I call them, bricks, how much ripple do they have? So that's another test. And I wish I, my scope was working so I could get an accurate representation of the, the ripple instead of just measuring it with a meter. So anyway, that's the show. If there's anything else you want me to try with this regulator um, before I go to the next stage which is testing using that lab i mean laptop power supply please let me know thanks for watching if you enjoyed the show please give me a thumbs up where'd my thumb go there it is bye bye